All right, we'll get started. First question, Ira Winderman. Go ahead, Ira. Jimmy, is this perhaps the quintessential heat box score? Your team doesn't even have the leading scorer. You have five guys, in six guys in double figures, all within five points of each other. You've told us all season it doesn't have to be about you. It doesn't have to be about one guy. How rewarding is it to close out a series with this kind of everyone involved performance? Um, we love it that way. Um, it's a team game. We've been that way all year long. Um, but a win is a win, and we take it how we can get it. We talked about one being out the mud. I think that this was the one. Um, but so many guys stepped up for us in, in so many ways. You know, and I, I applaud everybody for being ready tonight. And then just to talk to one guy in particular, because you're probably going to talk about him anyway, 20-year-old Tyler Hero, the minutes he played, the job he did, the shots he made. He's not just your typical kid, is he? No, I, I tell him that. I tell you all that as often as I can. Um, he's a professional. He's going to be in this league for a very long time since he's 20 years old. Um, but he's just so comfortable. He's, he's so confident. He plays with a swag that you think he was going on 31 like me. And um, we love him for that. We wouldn't change him. We, wouldn't, we want him to stay that exact same way moving into the Eastern Conference Finals. Tim Reynolds. Jimmy, those last three words you said, Eastern Conference Finals, you've, you've waited a long time to get there. What is, I, I know that's not the ultimate destination, of course, but to be able to say that you're in that round finally, what's it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot, but like you said, um, that's not my goal. That's not my guy's goal. It's not the organization's goal. We, we want to win hit. We want a championship. And I think that's what we're focused on. These next eight are going to be much harder than the previous eight. We know that. Um, but we're ready for it. And on the day that it was a couple months after the trade, but when they introduced you in Miami, you said that this culture has always spoken to you, that you needed to know what it was like. Is it as good as you thought it was, or is it, is it it's better? better? Yeah, it's better. Um, like I always say, we just, we just work here. We're so honest with one another. I mean, if you watch the game, you constantly see guys going back and forth. Um, but nobody's taking it personally. Um, you say what you have to say, and you move on from it. Um, but that's what I love about this group of guys is, you know, you can always be honest with one another. Nobody's taking anything personal, no hard feelings. And um, everybody works. Mike Cunho. Hey, Jimmy, uh, a lot of people would have said that Miami he had to play their best basketball to take out number one seed Milwaukee Bucks, the team with Giannis Antetokounmpo on it. Do you guys feel you guys have played your best basketball up to this point? I don't think so. I don't think we've played a, a full 48-minute game yet. Um, and that's what's promising is that we do lock in and decide to play from start to finish the way that we're capable and the way that we're supposed to. Um, I think the game would be a lot easier. Um, but it's yet to, to happen. But we we got to have it happen in the next round. Clay Ferraro. Hey, Jimmy, congrats. First, that shirt is awesome. Secondly, uh, I think I know the answer to this, but I, I have to ask, is this any sort of validation to, to get to this point when, you know, so many people question the move, you leave a team like Philadelphia, um, is this any sort of validation or are you even – thinking about that at this point? Nah, um, I really don't. You know, you can't help but to hear what people say, but uh, that's what's wrong with the world anyways. People don't mind their own business. Everybody always got something to say, and you're right. You know, you have your own opinion, but I'm going to do what I think is best for me, what's best for these guys. And um, as long as I'm happy, those guys are happy, I'm content. So I don't pay attention to what anybody says. I just uh, try to live my life the best way I know how. Vince Goodwill. Jimmy, you've had some second round heartbreaks uh, in Chicago and in Philadelphia. Did you feel any anxiousness tonight yourself to try to get it done? It seemed like you were pressing a little bit early and then sort of settled down as the game got on. No, I wouldn't say I was pressing. I was just turning the ball over, um, trying to make the right play, throwing bad passes. Uh, it is what it is, part of the game. Um, I definitely think I got to be better because if I start that way, the game is normally going to start that way. Um, but no, I want to say I was pressing, playing the way I always play, and it, uh, it evened out in the end. Nick Friedel. Jimmy, you've said all along throughout the season, you believe in the culture, you believe in, in the players within the group. As you sit here now heading into the Eastern Conference Finals, are you even a little surprised at how quickly everything's come together for this group this year? Not at all. Um, 
we're a close group. Um, we like being around one another. Um, we're constantly talking about how we can make each other better. Um, and what we see out there on the floor, we just, we, we legit in it to win it. Like we don't care about stats. We don't care about fame. We don't care about none of that. All that we all care about is, is winning the championship. And I'm telling you, that's why we're playing the style of basketball we're playing right now. Rodrigo Lazzarini, Live Basketball Brazil. Hey, Jim, congrats on the win. And how confident you are going now to the Eastern Conference final? We're very confident, um, but we don't want to be too confident. We know either way it goes, we've got a really good team that we have to play against. Um, but we still have to play our style of basketball and focus in on us and worry about them at the same time. But we're not discouraged. We're not scared. We're not running from any matchups. And um, I think that's what makes us us. Manolo Rodriguez from Tab Deportes. Thank you, Jimmy. Congrats on the win from Puerto Rico here. Um, I want to know what are your feelings because you have gone through a lot of things, not only in your career, but in your life. And I, now being in the bubble, there's a lot of time that you can meditate on your past and on your future and what you're doing right now, how it impacts the kids. I want you to give me your thoughts on it. I don't worry too much about my past. Damn sure I don't know what the future holds. Um, to the best of my ability, I try to stay in the now and try to enjoy um, the world that I'm in, the life that I'm able to live, my family now, because none of that's promised tomorrow. Um, but I'm glad that I get to do it with the group of guys that I have, with the coaching staff that we have. Um, these guys are, are all about the now, too. We will embrace it. We will love right now. And um, we worry about the future when it gets here. Andres Lopez, Cultura Sports. Thank you. Uh, Jimmy? At the very beginning of the season, I interviewed Coach Spo and I asked him what he thought about all those people that didn't see you guys as a real championship contender. And he had a choice of words for me that day in his response. Today, you, have, you guys have qualified to the Eastern Conference Finals. Is it any, and if it is, how much of a motivating factor is it for you guys to prove all those people wrong out there? Um, we, we don't care. We really don't. And more than us proving them wrong, we're just proving ourselves right. That's what it's all about. Um, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, as I've already said. Um, but we know what we've been doing day after day, uh, month after month, all of that. Um, and we like it that way. Um, we want people to continue to count us out. And we're just going to keep moving, keep playing on um, our best style of basketball and, and keep being in Miami Heat. And last question, David from La Gazzetta dello Sport, Italy. Hey, Jimmy, uh, looking at your team, which is the thing you are most proud of uh, in this series with Milwaukee? Um, how comfortable everybody is at any point in time in the game, how everybody knows what their role is, where they're supposed to be on the floor, and what it takes to win. Um, I think we've been working on that all year long, and it's, um, it's showing. And you never know what role you're going to have night in and night out. Like Tyler didn't know he was going to have to play make and, and, and make shots like he did. But as soon as the coach said, this is what you have to do, he was ready for it. So that's what I'm most proud of is, is everybody's comfortable, everybody's confident. And of course, we won. All right, Jimmy, thanks for your time. Appreciate it.